lot of people that know me don't know that I'm a doctor. When they find out I'm a doctor, they're like, should I get the vaccine? I'm like, probably yes, but I'm a doctor of philosophy. And they're like, okay, what's your philosophy? I'm like, I'm still working on it, but I can tell you what I wrote my dissertation about. See, my doctorate is in classics. That means the study of Greco-Roman antiquity. And within that, I eventually gravitated to Plato. Now, Plato lived in the 5th to 4th centuries BC, and he's very important to the history of philosophy. It was once remarked that the European philosophical tradition consists of a series of footnotes to Plato. That remark was made by Alfred North Whitehead, and that's what my dissertation is about. Not about the remark, but about Plato. See, a lot of people don't like Plato because he seemed to imply that this world is but a frail copy of an ideal realm of transcendent forms, and this, when picked up by later philosophers who were based in Abrahamic religions, created a divide between the concepts of heaven and earth, mind and body, the beyond and the here and now, and that's the cause of a lot of our problems. But actually, says Whitehead, that's not what Plato said. That's just what it seems like he said in the Republic. And in the Timaeus, we see that Plato really thought that the divine and the soul and the good were located in the very body of the world. And in fact, the universe is a living organism with purpose, goodness, and sentience built into it. So it's really a lot more like indigenous and eastern philosophy. So actually, Plato was pretty rad. So that's my footnote on Whitehead's footnote on the series of footnotes that philosophy is. And that's why my dissertation is called Footnotes to Footnotes Whitehead's Plato. Here it is.